Welcome to WebSquare 5 Tutorials. This video explains the index page of the WRM that includes component list, application samples, and exercise. The index XML file is located at WS5 Web Content. Go to WS5 Web Content and double click index XML. Click the red arrow button to view the index page on the browser. The index page contains widgets. You can personalize the index page by setting which widgets to show and which widgets to hide. You can also reset the widget settings of the index page. The sample list box has three menus, component list, application samples, and exercise. Click component list. WebSquare 5 provides about 80 components, and this page contains component samples. Click text input under form control. This page shows the components that are mainly used to receive users' text input. Then, click output. The components in this page are for text or image output. Then, item value selection. This page shows components for users' selection. Checkbox, multi-select, radio. Check combo box allows multiple selections and autocomplete provides a search function, meaning that the selection items are searched based on the user's input. Then, go to grid view. Click column types. This sample shows various input types that the grid view column supports. Filtering, sorting, moving page provides filtering and sorting samples. Click drag and drop. You can drag a row from one grid view to another grid view. Subtotal and total shows how to calculate subtotal and total in the grid view. Go to menu tree. This is tree view component. You can create a tree like menus and move the menus between the tree view components. WebSquare 5 supports Fusion Chart and also Mac Chart. Through the address on the browser, you can check the location of each of these sample files. Now, click Application Samples. This page provides various types of samples often used to create certain functions. Let us go to page and select the first file. This is for the paging function of the grid view. Users can decide how many rows to display on the grid view, and the page numbers are automatically created in the lower part of the grid view. This page also implements master and detail structure. Pop-up and file upload functions are also enabled in this sample. Now, go to functions and select the first file. This page does not provide actual samples but shows how to use most frequently used APIs of WebSquare 5. Now, click number 5. This sample file allows users to see RUD, or create, read, update, and delete data, in the grid view. And the lower part describes how to use APIs of the data list. Click number 9 for multi-language support. Select a language. The UI text will be displayed in the selected language. 
Lastly, select number 6 file, under performance. This sample shows how to format data of the grid view. You may use APIs such as set cell background color, or set cell color, or the inner HTML property of the grid view. For more details, check the source files. Now, click Exercise. Completed exercises we have been working on. Training one file is about binding components with data list columns. Click Training to 1. You can see this is what we have worked on in the previous exercises. Click Training to 2. A page which seems same with the previous sample is displayed. There is, however, a difference. Let us open the source files in the studio. Training to 1. And Training to 2. The difference lies in how to submit data for the gender and the position boxes. In training to one, two submissions are executed. One for the gender and the other for the position. Go to outline view and select the head tab and submission. Click each submission and check the submitted data list. The training to two file executes one submission only. Through a single submission, two data lists are submitted both for the gender and the submission. Check other exercise samples too. WebSquare 5 provides English documents. Select Technical Documents and click SP for User Guide. Part 4, Components provides Detailed description of each component. And for the grid view. The video you are watching is provided on YouTube as part of the WebSquare 5 tutorials. The index page also provides links to the websites related to HTML5 and CSS. Thank you for watching.